Hello everyone, welcome to a new episode in Glenlatan. After in the last episode we managed to knock off some contracts, today we are going to focus on our own fields and we are going to start harvesting because it's harvest season, we are in August, our oats are ready to harvest. So we are going to harvest both of our herbal fields that have oats in them and then we are going to bale the straw. At least that's my plan for now, we'll see how much time we need to do that and if we will be able to maybe do something else in the end, like I don't know, mulch the fields or something. But without further ado, let's jump into the combine harvester. I'll attach the header right here in the yard because uh, the header is small and I think it should be able to fit through the narrow roads that we have around here. And we're gonna go start the harvesting process. I'm going to put down the straw sort so we can make uh, straw bales. Uh, I don't know about the straw bales. I'm thinking about maybe keeping them because for next season I don't want to put, uh, let's say, in the ground the crop that gives us straw. I'm thinking about maybe canola or some soybeans or something along those lines but I I haven't fully decided yet. But for now let's uh, let's see about harvesting these fields. I don't know how long it will take us but uh, yeah. I'm hoping I have enough gas in the combine. The tank is let's say halfway full but uh, let's put some music and let's get this back to us
harvesting on field 29 it's almost finished we just have this little corner over here to, to do I'll empty the combine harvester in the trailer after that before we move to the next field and also before we move to the next field I want to check the price of oats and also the price of silage I don't expect either of them to be, to be good at this point of year because it's August it's basically the month where the prices should be I think at its lowest because it's harvest season but uh, I don't think it it's a bad idea to to check on. Also, we'll, we're going to go to the farm to empty this trailer. But let's first check the prices. Uh, we need to go to this price tab over here, and we have oats. And if we see price fluctuation, yeah, the bad, bad, the worst price is in August, and the best price is in December. So we are going to sell the oats in December. Until then, we are going to put them in our silo at the farm. And also, I said I'm going. To to check the prices for silage so let's also do that we forget uh, the best price is also in december and worst is august so in december we are going to make some money we are going to sell the oats and we are going to sell some of the silage bales because our cows have enough food to last them until next year also the grass is ready to cut i think well let's go into this trailer and we are going to check it if it's ready to cut i'm going to probably do it off camera i don't know maybe i'll start at the end of this episode cutting the grass and uh, completing the job off camera i want to make hay bales and i think all the hay bales that i'm going to make are going to uh, maybe not all of them but a part of them will go to the sheep and the other part will be put in storage to uh, have enough hay to be able to make total mix ratio for the cows. Let's check the grass. No, it's not ready to cut. I think uh, in September will will be will be ready to cut. But it's not a problem. It's not like we are needing grass right now uh, let's leave this tractor over here and jump into the combined harvester and move to field 34 I think let's see when we get down the number yeah 34 and start that one that will be the big herbal field the biggest herbal field that we have right now uh, I think I'm going to do three laps around the headland and then set the worker to help with the harvest so I can start the baling on both the, both the fields. That's my plan for now and I, don't, I hope it will not change. You know how my plans are usually I say I do something and then I change my mind and go to something else. So you never know. For now, let's uh, get this going. I'll time lapse me doing three laps around the headlands and I'll come back to you when we start the probating process.
are now finishing the third lap around the headroom. I think the worker should be able, without any major problems, to take over from here. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to set the worker on this. Then go dip the trailer into the silo. And then come put the trailer somewhere in the field over here so it will be easier to to empty the combine harvester and then go grab the baler and start baling the straw. Uh, it, would, it would be great if we manage at some point to buy another tractor because as you can see we only have one that needs to cart to bale to do everything and it's not great. If we had the two tractors, one of them can cart and the other one do the bailing, but yeah, it is what it is. Actually, let's have a look on the uh, used vehicle sale. No, we don't have anything. We have this baler, which is a little bit bigger than the one we have, but uh, I don't want to buy it, at least not right now, because uh, I want to keep my money to be able to afford the... Uh, slurry spreader and maybe a manure spreader because our cows are producing and we can use those products to, to fertilize our fields instead of buying chemical fertilizer all, all the time which is not that cheap as you may know okay so we now put the oats into the silo let's take the trailer and put it at the edge of the field somewhere and come back for the baler and start baling the uh, the straw uh, I don't know how many straw bales we'll end up with I'm going to have to load them manually it will take some time if I see that I don't have enough time in this episode I'll do it uh, off camera I don't know right now let's empty the, the harvester since we are already here So that the water can be on its on its way. Oh, so the harvester is now empty. Let's drop the trailer off and let's go pick up the beta. I will start the time lapse as always and I will come back probably when the harvesting will be finished.
as you can see i think the worker managed to do two thirds of the field but he missed a little bit over here that's why i decided to jump in the harvester and uh, stop him also we need to unload and since the tractor is on the trailer i'm gonna go like i did last time and unload directly into this uh, trailer over here and I'm going to finish the the harvest myself of course it will be in a time lapse and then after the harvesting will be finished we can focus on bailing this field and I think after the bailing we will end this episode here uh, the bales I haven't decided yet if I'm going to collect them off camera or do it in the next episode uh, we'll have to see about it I will I will make a decision uh, probably I'm going to do it them off camera because it takes a little bit of time but uh, like I said I haven't fully decided yet and that's because uh, I haven't done bail collecting in a, in a few episodes so why not maybe this could be a thing uh, if you want to see me collect the straw bales let me know in the in the comments down below. But for now, let's finish this harvest. we have in the combine harvester will fit in that trailer I don't know they, they probably should because we didn't download uh, a full hopper last time but let's see if not I'm going to go and unload directly into the silo if they, they don't fit if they do I'll just park the combine harvester to, to one side over here and jump back into the tractor and finish bailing the straw yeah, they should be able to fit. No problem. Okay, good. Let's park the combine harvester somewhere over here. For next year, I'll have to refill the fuel tank. If we are, we will not be able to, let's say, change the harvester until then. I don't think we are. That we are. But now let's focus on. Uh, bailing this straw and after that we can take the oats put them in the silo and I think I'll end the episode back.
we are almost done bailing the bailing the straw we just have this little strip over here but uh, i'm going to need to move the the trailer let's leave the baler right here and let's hook up to the trailer we need to move it and since i'm hooking up to it let's go dump the oats in the uh, grain silo i'm curious to see how much oats we end up in total i think we should have around 25,000 liters give or take something and also i'm curious to see how many straw bales we end up with but let's take it one at, at a time i'm going to go put this in the silo see how many how much oats we have and then come back to finish baling also i've decided that the straw bales i'm going to collect off camera uh, because it's going to take some time let's put it like this and also next time i want to start repurposing those fields because actually let's check before i say something stupid i wanted to say that canola can be drilled in september and i want to do canola in, in both the fields but i'm not sure so let's see when we can drill canola yeah we can drill canola in september also so I'm going to collect the bales of camera and next time we are going to repurpose the fields and drill canola in in them. Uh, I hope that we don't need to plow the fields. Let's check. No, we don't need to plow the field. So that's good. We just need to spray some fertilizer on them, drill them, mulch them, fertilize them, drill them, roll them and probably no we'll have to herbicide spray them but okay we have 11,000 liters of milk that's good we can sell some of the milk well I said 25,000 liters of oats but we ended up with 27 with just over 27,000 liters so it's not bad if the price in December will be above 3,000 we'll make a lot of money on the on the oats let's put this trailer back in this shed over here let's see the price of milk I don't think it's that good uh, it's climbing in September will be good so I'm going to wait until until September and sell it then we should have maybe almost two trailer loads of milk in September to sell that will mean we are going to make a bit more money off on it the cows are starting to be worded as you can you saw i think we sold already two loads of milk and now we are going to sell probably in the next episode two more and that means they are totally worded and they started producing so I'm very happy about it. Let's finish this baling. I don't think it will end up in another bale. No, it's not a problem. Uh, let's see how many bales we have in total because that's what I said I wanted to check. We have 35 bales. It's not bad. Uh, I'm going to end this episode here. I hope you are still enjoying this series. If you do, please give us a like. If you want to watch more of my videos, subscribe to the channel. And in the end, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.